Hey Panthers, hey everyone, how are you? Happy summer, but most importantly, today is a special day. It is a holiday, and that holiday is called Juneteenth. And Juneteenth is celebrated everywhere on June 19th. And it's a day to not only celebrate the official end of slavery, but it's a day that we also remember. And we remember the things that slaves had gone through, that our African-American brothers and sisters had gone through. And it's a day to really think about where we are today, how far we've come, but also the work that we still have to do. And so with Juneteenth, one of the reasons that it's taking so long today for Mrs. Gregory to post this is because the place that I was going to get the library books at originally didn't have them. And I wanted to share a really special book with you that is one of my favorites. And so thanks so much to Sacramento Public Library, Angela. Big shout out to Angela. She was able to go on and figure out which of the libraries I could get it from. And so I had to travel all the way there to get it and then come back because it is such a special book that I wanted to share with you. And the best part about it as well is that we've ordered it now for our school library here, along with a few other books about Juneteenth. And so when you guys get back here, which we can't wait for, we're so excited. When you guys eventually are able to come back here, you guys will be able to check it out from the library and learn even more about it. I've also posted information about Juneteenth that's gonna go along with this video on our Facebook page. So be sure to go onto our Greer Facebook page, watch this video, and then check out www.juneteenth.com to learn even more about today's special day. So without further ado, I'm gonna get started and we're gonna learn all about Juneteenth together. Um, so back January 1st, 1863 um, was the Emancipation Proclamation. And that was when Lincoln officially freed slaves. It was the end of the Civil War. Slaves, slavery was no longer allowed at that point. And so our African-American brothers and sisters that were bound by slavery, they were officially free. However, there was no social media then. There was nothing that was able to get the word out. And so it actually took two and a half years for the, all the different states to find out um, one by one that slavery had ended. And the final stop was Galveston, Texas. And it was nearly two and a half years later after the slaves were officially freed for the slaves in Texas to find out that, guess what? You're free, civil war has ended. And so for those two and a half years, they had no idea. And the final stop there at Texas, they read the proclamation and slavery had ended. And so that was the day, June 19th, that they celebrated. And so today I'm gonna to read a story too called Juneteenth for Maisie. And it's written by Floyd Cooper. Floyd Cooper also did the illustration, super talented guy, look at that. He's an author and an illustrator. He has won several awards, including the Coretta Scott King Honor Award three different times. And he has also written many other books and illustrated other books as well. He's one of the authors and illustrators that we have added some other books to our library too. So I'm excited for you guys to be back to learn more about it. So here we go, June 19th, Juneteenth for Maisie. Maisie wants to play outside, but it is too late. It's getting dark, Maisie, it's time to stay inside. Maisie wants a cookie, but it's time for bed. Not now, little one, it's too close to bedtime. Maisie wants to stay up late, but she's too little. Bedtime is the rule, sweet girl. Why so grumpy, sugar bear? asks dad. I can't go where I want, have what I want, or do what I want, answers Maisie. Well. Tomorrow you can have a celebration, says dad. What are we celebrating? Asks Maisie. We will celebrate the day your great, great, great grandpa Mose crossed into Liberty. The day will be celebrated by us and many more families on a day we call Juneteenth. Dad lifts Maisie into his arms. I bet you're tired of hearing no all the time. Well, great, great, great grandpa Mose heard no even more. Grandpa Mose worked in the fields that stretched all the way to sunset. He and the other slaves would be bone tired, but they had to keep going. Their masters wouldn't let them quit. But as they worked, they thought about freedom. And before they finally went to sleep at night, they prayed about freedom and made plans for change and a better future. Some slaves ran north to freedom, following a bright star in the sky. 
They sweat, they bled, and they cried till those cries were quieted by a single proclamation from a brave president. Grandpa Mose heard that proclamation read from the balcony of the hotel on that warm June day in Galveston, Texas. Grandpa Mose heard nothing but cheers, saw nothing but happiness, and felt nothing but pride shared by all those around him. The cheers became dancing, the dancing became celebrating. It went on and on into the night. Grandpa Mose and the others had found freedom. They continued to work, but this time they were paid for their hard work. So they worked and they saved and they never forgot the movement or the moment that they heard, the moment that changed their lives forever. But things weren't perfect. Black people still struggled to stand shoulder to shoulder with white people. They still weren't treated as equals. It wasn't easy, but they never gave up. And every year on Juneteenth, they remembered. They marched for jobs, they lobbied for schools and the right to vote, they shouted for opportunity. And every year on Juneteenth, they celebrated and remembered. They learned and they grew. They forgave. They excelled and achieved. They became heroes. Now, sweet Maisie, it's your turn to celebrate just like great, great, great Grandpa Mose. It's your turn, Maisie, to eat some barbecue and drink some strawberry pop. It's your turn to celebrate. and to remember. And here it says on June 19th, 1865, soldiers arrived in Galveston, Texas, announcing the end of the Civil War and the end of slavery in the United States. It was more than two years after President Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation. Celebrated every year on June 19th, Juneteenth commemorates the announcement of the abolition of slavery and the emancipation of American, African-American citizens throughout the entire United States. And that is Juneteenth for Maisie. So just like it talks about in here, there's still a lot of work to do, right? We still have challenges and we still know that not everyone is treated equally and fairly. And so part of what you're seeing going on around you is a big movement to not only make sure that everybody understands that, but a movement to help fix it. And Today, though, is a day that not only we reflect on that and how we can help with that, but it's a day to also celebrate and commemorate all that has happened all the way back in 1865. So here's this for you. It's going to be added to our library as well. We're looking forward to that. Be sure to check out www.juneteenth.com to learn more and you guys can also mark down those of you who have, who have signed up for the Pass the Books Challenge, um, gone on to the library and made sure that you have entered. You can put this down as one of the books that have been read to you. And remember, you guys are earning prizes for that. So be sure to check that out. We posted that on Facebook earlier this week. So be sure to sign up for that as well. All right. So we miss you guys. And I can't wait to see you next week. We will have another book reading. So stay tuned. Have a great weekend and happy Juneteenth, everyone.